Hello and welcome. That's not me farting. That is the door. Um, we're in a slightly different setting today. Um, welcome to. Sorry, what? I was about to say, Chloe. I know that's the door, but um, I realised now that you started without me, but that's yeah. fine. I thought I was meant to because I was gonna do a wee motivational quote. Oh, okay, yeah, go for it. Um, but my motivational quote is um, he ever said nothing is impossible. Never tried to staple water to a tree. But you could if the water was in a plastic bag. But then that wouldn't be water. You're stapling to the tree. That would be the bag. But you wouldn't say, I'm stapling a bag of water to a tree. You would say, I'm stapling I know, but, some water to a tree. But it would be the bag you're stapling to the tree. It wouldn't okay, be water enough. that is in the staple. They also never tried to carry water in their hands for a great distance. They also never tried to just skydive twice without a parachute. Because be dead after the first one. Yeah. Well, they might not be. They might just break their back, really. Just break themselves I mean, a lot. they still probably wouldn't try it again. That is true. Anyway, hello and welcome hello. to Skit Twins Podcast. Uh, it has been four weeks since Did you look that up? Last podcast. Well, I know we were supposed to do one in Dublin, which is two weeks ago, so four weeks. Fair enough. Um, maths. But yeah, so we've been busy. Uh, we didn't do a podcast... We haven't done a podcast for a while because we've been away places. We have been busy in hotels. <laughs> Not that kind of busy. Get your minds out of the gutter. What? <laughs> don't. <laughs> don't think. Don't okay. think. I'm, I'm if, you think haven't, if you haven't thought of it, don't think of it. <laughs> I'm. I still can't think of it. Am I too innocent for this? Just just saying busy in hotels and oh, uh, sort of. Okay. I, I, I just I made a mistake. But anyway, welcome. Hi. Hope you're well. If you're not well, hope you get better soon. Um, we're in a slightly different setting. We're still in the house. We're just, just in a, a different, different room, but different bedroom, different different recording room. Not that it matters. I don't think the sound quality is that like effective in your room. That the yeah. <laughs> changing location is going to make. Thought I'd just say anyway. <gasps> Plus, I don't be whinging at you for like knocking into the globe or like banging the fireplace. Yeah, I'll just knock this uh, box and stool off the bed because yeah, we're so. standing. Yeah, we've got it precariously placed, precariously balanced. Yeah, so we've been away, we've been busy. Um, so we were in Dublin one of the weekends doing a triathlon training weekend thing and a duathlon race. Which is a run, a bike and a run. Which is awful. Apparently no one knows what that is. I kept really? on saying to people and people were like, what's a duathlon? It's like, well, I mean, it's, well, I don't know, I wouldn't know what a tetra te tetrathlon is. Quadrathlon. Quadrathlon. Quadra what's that one? I don't know. I mean, I'd sure assume that there's like a pentathlon and a... If a qu I, I, I would hope a quad quadrathlon would be swim, bike, run and row. I yeah. think that would be ideal. Or sailing. I think there's one or that kayak. you sail in it, yeah. I'm going to look that up. Um, do you want to tell them about the duathlon? And yeah, so uh, it was nearly called off and then because there was, a, there was a crash. Not a serious crash is what we found out, thankfully. Um, but there was a crash just outside on, on the race course and it was going to be just a, a run and then it wasn't going to be on at all and then it was just going to be a run and then it was the whole thing and we were kind of low-key stressing because we got the bus to Dublin and we had to get the bus home from Dublin and the only bus home from Dublin on a Sunday is at like quarter past four yeah unless we wanted to wait until like half nine or whatever but like yeah honestly the worst part was me is I hurt my back um with the sheep and sitting for long periods of time <laughs> hurts my back and buses are not ideal just while we're here quadrathlon involves swimming I'm gonna read out the sprint distance because we do sprint distance triathlon so swimming for 750 meters cycling for 20 kilometers kayaking for four kilometers and running five kilometers so I think I could do a quadrathlon I think I, I could think do a would. quadrathlon that should definitely be an Olympic event because people oh wait no people canoe do Is people it canoe or kayaking? Did, I think they did kayaking. Did they do kayaking or canoe? <laughs> I think they do both. Okay. I'm not sure. Well, yeah, but we, we managed to do the duathlon. We managed to get through it. And we also, we managed to get home. Yep. So that's good. Um, And then, like, three days later, we went to London. Yeah. That, was it three days? No, no it, was it was five like days. Friday, so yeah. it was five days. I thought it was Wednesday we went, but, but yeah, it was Friday. And that was... London's okay, but like I could not live there. Yeah. I think I've said that before. I like it, but I couldn't live there. But five like, days I think was this time it was different as well because we weren't getting the train out to our brother's house, so we were in central London for the whole days. five days. It was, it was. I found it really intense. Like there was just so many people and so much traffic all the time. Yeah. Not that we were outside that much because we were rehearsing in and a stuff. drama studio. 
dead posh. In Rada. 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 Um, but yeah, Rada's we... actually not even that posh. <laughs> I mean, no offence, it's historic. It's just, yeah, it's historic and it's just, you can tell it's old. You can tell it's seen it's... Seen, probably has ghosts and stuff. Seen some good days. Yeah. Seen better days. Probably has ghosts, but I don't believe in ghosts, so... There's ones there that did believe in ghosts. Um, I want to talk, I wish I'd talked more about, to them about... Um, ghosts. Their belief in ghosts. Yeah. Quite interested. What too. about you, listener? Do you believe in ghosts? Tweet us, at skin, at skint. Skint at twins. skit That's underscore twins. Yeah, we're also skint, but you know, that doesn't matter. But at skit underscore twins or, or at skit under slash twins. Or email us at skit, no, not at, just um, email skit.twins <laughs> at gmail.com um, and tell us about your experiences with ghosts. I'm really keen to hear those actually, um, so please do. Please do actually tell us about your interactions with ghosts. I would be. Later on in the podcast, we will be answering some listeners' questions. And I have to say this now, I put it up on Instagram. Mm-hmm. Um, I put it up on my personal Instagram and then on the Skit Twins. And people replied to my personal Instagram. You have a wee mark on your nose. Oh, thanks. People replied to it on my like my own Instagram. And you know the questions feature on Instagram? Yeah. Yeah, that's not, that's not anonymous. Oh. <laughs> Did people think it was? I think people thought it was. And some of them it was kind of like... I'm going to mention your name on the podcast, but I'm not, I'm not, um, I didn't write their names down, but I could, but just be aware. But anonymous. I, oh, I know, I knew it was on, wasn't anonymous because people have tagged me uh, whenever they've answered questions. Questions, so. But yeah, but I have like, I have like a whole page of questions and then I, I did a Snapchat a wee while ago too, just on my own Snapchat. We do have a Skit Twins Snapchat, but we never use it. Yeah, you've forgotten the password. You mentioned that in another podcast. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so we were busy in London and Dublin, and it was. I really enjoyed both times. I think yeah. I didn't enjoy the training because my back was just sore from the bus journey down, and then we had to do swimming and cycling and running, and then we had to run and cycle and run the next day, and it just my back was not good. Um, I just I just don't enjoy the travel into Dublin like I think maybe next time I would get the train rather than the bus because the train you can at least get up have a wee walk around go to a toilet I mean I was lucky enough that I didn't have to pee on the bus but at the same time it's nice to have that option yeah (laughs) so you're not like you know like security blanket you're not like three hours before you get the bus going can't drink anything now that was my fear I always get really dehydrated after races and stuff I think because I'm afraid to drink because you have to go I have to pee on the bus but I didn't yeah. this time I have managed very well in my London expedition or not London Dublin expeditions uh lately so yeah that's, that's good that's good positive experiences yeah. we've been in a lot of hotels recently as well we were in a hotel on Friday night too up in Belfast and uh it was lovely it was the best hotel I've been to in um Ireland I think yeah I'm just sad we didn't have to a chance to go to the gym yeah I would have liked to check out all the facilities facilities some people did go to the gym and I was kind of like, did you really though? Really? And they're like, they probably were on when they're gone for like half an hour or whatever. Like, we go to the gym and we, we go. Yeah. We, we spend some quality time with the gym. Sorry, I'd be Get to know it real well. Um, but yeah, it was, London, I'd say, was the worst. Yeah, that's, it was very small and cramped. That's and the very bottom. And we were shared a room. Which, I mean, I don't mind. We did say we would share a room, but it's annoying whenever we don't specify that we would like to share a room. And I mean, I understand that it's cheaper and easier to do that, but I mean, if you would, you know, if people would be like, do you mind sharing a room? Is that okay? Like, Like we'd say yes, but it's just the fact that they assumed that we'd be all right with it. Yeah. But, I mean, whatever. Um, I mean, we are okay with it. I don't think I'd ever, like, I would never sort of turn around and be like, Excuse me, but uh, you made me into the share room and we didn't want that. I would never complain because, like, I don't mind it. Yeah. But also, at the same time, it's nice to get the option of, do you want a room each or do yeah. you want to share? Like, unless everyone has to share a room with someone, then yeah, no thanks. But anyway, not to, not to sound ungrateful. It was Yeah, I, I don't want to sound good ungrateful because it was, it was paid for and it was, was very nice. Very yeah. Solid hotels. Apart from um, Travel Lodge, Travel Lodge, I don't want to name names, but I already have, but Travel Lodge, go and fix your Wi-Fi situation. Nobody these days should have just 30 minutes of Wi-Fi every yeah. 24 hours. No one should have to pay for Wi-Fi. 
I mean, I know it's a way to bring in money, but I mean, just hike up the prices in the vent machines a wee bit. <laughs> I mean, you, 90p for a Twix, you could probably bump that up to maybe one, 120. I reckon. <laughs> but yeah, anyway, um, in most of the hotels, in all of the hotels, uh, we ended up just going out and buying cereal, milk and eating out of cups. Apart from in London where we actually shelled we bought out bowls. and bought, bought paper bowls. Plastic bowls. Paper bowls. They were plastic. They were plastic. Oh yeah, they were, yeah. Sorry. Do we still have them? No. Did we just leave them at the I hotel? I think we left them there. Mm. There were 25 of them. They would have been useful. Yeah, we should, we should invest in some like wee bowls to just carry with us. Like, you know the way we always carry spoons? Yeah. We should just always carry bowls. One of those like flat pack dog bowls. <gasps> Genius, we need to get some of those. Let's. But then they have corners. You need a bowl that's sort of like smooth around the bottom so you can get your spoon properly and round. You don't have anything stuck in the cracks. What do you mean they have corners? They're round. No, it's in like at the bottom it like goes down and then across. Like at a 90 degree angle. Yeah, but only a little bit. Like it's not a major issue. I suppose. And I suppose there's silicone as well. So like you could bend that out to get yeah. the cereal out. I'm just thinking I, I don't want any cool pops left at the bottom of the bowl. Yeah, okay. But I also I don't, don't want to have to stick my head in the bowl. I don't think it would be a major issue. But you fold it up. You I'm could not an it, animal. <laughs> you could bring it to your mouth. I know, but the fact that it's a dog bowl, I don't want to have to like lick it like I'm a dog because... I think I think you're panicking unnecessarily. Yeah, I don't think it would I be an issue at really. all. Um, But yeah, we should definitely invest in those. I wonder where you get them. Probably pets at home or... Poundland maybe. Don't think so. I would. Too I would, sophisticated for Poundland. I would. I wouldn't pay more than a pound for it. To be honest, maybe two pound. Two pound, yeah. Poundland does that now. I'm quite disappointed by that. Well, Although they do pound. label. It, they it's do the, label it clearly, though. So fair they play. label it clearly, but it's not as if it's ninety nine p, like two ninety nine. Like I think it's okay that it's just like, an exact pound. Yeah. But yeah. We got to go on a tour of BBC Northern Ireland. Oh, that was fun. Um, and that was cool. Uh, but Bar Best wasn't around, so Neither unfortunately was didn't get to shake any hands with uh, my future co-workers. So, you know, maybe next time. I think it'd be really cool to work at the BBC. <laughs> <laughs> at the same time, though, they have like a really cool like radio drama studio. Like, yeah. imagine being in that room and like recording a podcast. We'd be like, oh, just going upstairs and then go up like the four stairs that they have in there. They have doors and a sink and a desk and a cup and like paving slabs that you can scrape your feet on and it's unreal filing cabinets yeah it's, it's i think it's class i didn't think in in my head i knew that in radio dramas and stuff they used sound effects but i didn't think that there would just be a room of like a door and like a i thought they would have just used the door of the studio <laughs> yeah or like added the sound effects in afterwards oh no i knew they added the sound effects in like as they did it because i know that they well they do that for tv afterwards if they need to add in stuff yeah they have such a hard job, the people who have to do it for TV. Why? Oh, the timing and yeah. stuff? Yeah, like if they're like doing like footsteps and stuff, they yeah, have to get yeah, it yeah. like... Just perfect. Yeah. Well, I suppose maybe they could like slow it down or whatever, but even that would take more time. Yeah. Fair play, guys, if you're good, one of those people. Good job. Good job. You go. Let's see, what have I got? I have... We audio, make... Audio. Audio. I was going to say we make lists of... All right, yeah, we, we have things. it planned out, so... um. Uh, I have audiobooks and podcasts, and it's just because audiobook. I don't have Audible. You need to email Audible and ask about your sponsorship. <laughs> you keep telling me this. Why don't you do it? You remember more than me. Because I've done it. I've done my part. Um, okay. But yeah, like I listen to audiobooks, but I don't pay for an Audible. See, the problem with email and Audible, I feel don't like... Don't tell anyone that I don't pay for it. I mean, they're on YouTube, so they're like accessible to anyone. It's on YouTube, and it's free. No, you should pay for Audible because they have a bigger selection of books. You should pay for Audible because they have a bigger selection of books. By the way, the reason that I don't feel like I can email Audible is because I feel like I need to be like signed up to it so I can be like, hey, I love using your stuff. You could be like, hey, I have a free trial, but I'm per, I suppose. Um, but yeah, this is about sponsorship. We were going to email uh, Audible and ask for them to sponsor us for a triathlon because that was just a wee segue though because i was gonna i was just gonna talk about how i really like audiobooks yeah, but also sorry, at anyway, the same continue. time 
I think they're a bit slow at times, so sometimes I have to listen to it a wee bit faster. Um, but like, not super fast, like 1.25 speed. Yeah. But yeah, it's it's lovely. What speed do you listen to podcasts? 1.5. 1.5. Yeah. And this is a really dull podcast, like one that I want to listen to just for the sake of listening. Yeah, that for makes the sense. content rather yeah. than the enjoyment. Yeah, I would listen to that at two. Unless it's a Northern Irish podcast, in which case sometimes it has to go back to 1.5 because <laughs> I'm not getting any of that. <laughs> but yeah, just wanted to throw that into the ring. Yeah, I would, like, if I had a job, <laughs> I would sign up to um, Audible because I do like audiobooks and it would be a change from a podcast. It would be like oh yeah, I will uh, listen to a chapter of this book today in the gym instead of, oh, I will listen to this podcast today. Yeah. Um, but at the same time, though, if I started listening to audiobooks, then I would have, like, I don't think I'd end up listening to anything else apart from audiobooks and podcasts. Yeah. Because I'd just have so many and I'd have to catch up with them. I suppose that's good, though, because I would be able to close my eyes all the time. I'm like, that's my favourite thing to do. <laughs> just closing your eyes. <laughs> <laughs> that's... Yeah, yeah, okay, fair enough. Um, if anyone from Scala Radio is listening, can Simon Mayo please get a Confessions podcast again? Because I'm really afraid that I'm going to run out of the ones from Radio 2. And I know you're putting them on YouTube, and I really appreciate that and the effort that's going into that. But can you please make it into a podcast? Thank you. Back to our podcast by the Skit Twins. I mean, I can do a podcast of it. I'll, like, take it off YouTube and put it up as a podcast. Please do. Okay. Or someone please do that, because... I flipping love confessions. Know, they are oh, hilarious. So good. Like if if you if you want something else to listen to apart from our podcast, I mean, our podcast is pretty good, but we don't have that many episodes. So if you want more, like cool content, BBC Radio Two Confessions. It's not it's not going anymore, but, but there is like you can have like a year's worth of podcasts to listen to. Um, so it's like one a week. So like you've got fifty two there. Isn't More than 52. Isn't it 52 per year, yeah. Yeah. Well, I suppose maybe they missed a week here and there. No, say about like 48. Fi- I'm going to say 50 because they put out Confessions from the Crypt. Oh, true. Just ones, c- compilation ones. But um, definitely give it a listen and tweet us and let us know what you think. And tweet Simon Mayo as well. Um, yeah, can everybody just do that? Just tweet Simon Mayo and be like, yo, bro. Skit Twins um, mentioned you and they want you to get a c- podcast again. Uh, but yeah, that's that was like a little ad break. <laughs> <laughs> and now back to the show. Um, <laughs> Skit Twins podcast is sponsored by Simon Mayo's Conf- Confessions. <laughs> Easter's coming up. Today's Palm Sunday. Yep. Um, so um, for those of you who aren't uh, read up on your Bible, uh, y'all need Jesus. Um, so that was whenever Jesus went into Jerusalem riding on a donkey and uh, everybody waved palm branches and their coats and their and coats stuff. And, and we're like, Hosanna! Is that where the red carpet came from? Because they, I think so, yeah. They laid them on the, ground, on the ground. And they were like, yeah. Maybe it was red because Jesus. of Jesus' blood. That is, we just cracked the code. All awards ceremonies um, point back to. Remember Jesus on the red carpet. What if it's blue carpet though? Um, royal, because he is the king of kings. But he wears purple. Um, but blue is a royal colour, it's royal blue normally, so royal. Okay. Can I backtrack and tell a story about London? You can indeed. It's about farming too, but um, city people, if you're from the city, raise your hand. Yeah, you look silly. Um, <laughs> <laughs> no, but um, I didn't realise how, not dumb, but like how innocent. green. Green, yeah. yeah. Uh, green means innocent, just in case that's Northern not Irish like... Northern Irish phrase of the week there. Just in case, I don't know if that's like a, a global phrase or if it's just a Northern Irish phrase. Let me know, at skit underscore twins. Um, <laughs> but people, the city people are so green whenever it comes to farming. Because uh, someone asked me how big a litter of a litter of lambs is. First of all, a litter. I mean, I suppose lambs. what else would you call it? Just Because you've got like a gaggle of geese and... I know, but you have a litter of puppies and a litter of kittens. Like, yeah. I don't know. Um, hold on. I will continue telling your story. Because I know it's a flock of sheep, but is it a flock of lambs? But anyway, they, they asked... Um, I don't want to say who it was. I don't want to name names. Because there was only a small group of us in London. But uh, they said, uh, how big's a litter of lambs? Is it like 11 or 12? And I laughed. I laughed at them. And then I saw their face, which was 
absolute seriousness and I was kind of like, oh, okay, um, no, it's like one to about four if you're lucky, mostly it's one to three, um, and, and they were shocked and I was kind of like, right, and, uh, yeah, if you're from the city, like, animals die and that's how you get your chicken nuggets, well, you don't, get, you don't get chicken nuggets from lamb or sheep, like, obviously that comes from a chicken, but, um, yeah, animals have to legit die and farmers are used to that. So, you know, don't be all like, oh, I'm so sorry. Oh, that must be really hard because it's not. You just kind of get used to it. Like, it's just a fact of life on the farm that things die. Um, Obviously, like, you know, if humans die, like, that's a different story because, like, I'm not saying animals are stupid, but they kind of are. Like, sheep are really clever. They can recognise up to, like, 32 faces. Um... I feel like I'm rambling a wee bit here, Judith. Come and, come and um, rescue me. Throw me a wee no, tow rope. There's no actual name for, a, like, a, a, I googled what is a litter of sheep, of lambs called, but there's no, there is no actual term. Oh, so they, so they technically could called, have been right. It's just called lambing. Although now I am looking at um, a list of names of groups of um, things. So a kindle or a litter of kittens. Is one that I have noticed so far. I like my Kindle, but I don't like kittens. I do like kittens. Kittens are adorable. All baby animals are cute, and then they grow up, and it's just kind of like. I suppose that's kind of like humans too. An unkindness of ravens. I think I knew that one. Because babies are real cute, and oh, then they. Re- okay, a flock, a herd, a trip, or a mob of sheep. Oh, that doesn't answer my question. That's just about like flocks. Hold on, is lambs in here? It's it's in alphabetical order, so just bear with. Babies are really cute, and then they get to like a toddler stage, but they're just peeing their pants all the time and asking <laughs> questions, and you're just like, why? Like, I wonder if parents are just like, why did I birth you? Like, I mean, obviously, like, it's your own child and stuff, but I, I babysat toddlers, and it's just kind of like, there's just points where you literally just want to be like, just... You know what? I've changed your pants four times today. You can just sit in those wet ones for a while, okay? And it wasn't even four times, it was flipping six. Fair play to parents, like, solid job. Good job, guys. Thank you for raising us. Parenting. Teaching us how to use a spoon. I try to remind myself of that if I get annoyed at... (laughs) If I get annoyed at mommy and daddy for not knowing how to do something on, like, the iPad or the laptop or whatever, I'm like, they taught me how to use a spoon. Like, sometimes I just physically put the spoon in my left hand and I'm like, this is really difficult. <laughs> my parents taught me this. Like, I don't But, even, like, did we, I, did our parents teach us that or did we just learn by watching? Well, I know, like, we kind of maybe didn't learn by watching, but... the thing but... is, I can't even be bothered to teach myself to use a spoon properly in my left hand. But they took the time and patience to help me use a spoon I mean, in my right hand. I mean, it's just kind of, like, hand-eye coordination, is it not? Like, whenever you're away and, like, whenever you're, like, a baby baby, like, you you just flail your arms like you clap and no noise came <laughs> comes out. <laughs> a I globule just... of spit just landed onto his chin. I am sorry, but my spit is your spit. We have the same DNA. We just have different fingerprints. <laughs> your spit is my spit and my spit is your spit. That was sweet. That was we saw we made up and we just never got any further. We were about six. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, that was me. I farted, guys. Just in case you heard that. I hope you didn't. But I there you go. I wasn't going to draw attention to natural it. bodily function, guys. Natural bodily function. You know who I still want to meet? It's just like vibrations. <laughs> just trying to move on there. <laughs> You're just still going. That's cool. Do you want to? This is why I can't have my own radio show because I would. <laughs> It would be going so well and I'd be like, so that weird. was that was good vibrations by the by these guys. It was by Beach Boys, isn't it? Yeah. Was, that was good vibrations by the Beach Boys. Talking about good vibrations. <laughs> this room stinks. And it was because of my vibrations. <laughs> Please, someone get Chloe a radio show. To be fair, though, I was listening to Good Morning Sunday on Radio 2 and they were talking about um, the joy of taking your bra off after a long day. And it's like, it's a man and a woman that talk about it. And it was the woman talking about the bra and the man was so uncomfortable. <laughs> like, they were talking, she was talking about it for a good five minutes, like reading out texts. And the man was just sort of like, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And she was like, okay, we're going to move on. We're not going to talk about bras anymore. And he was like, good. Now, next up, we're going to listen to. Poor guy. Um, I felt sorry for him. 
because I don't, I don't understand that, Joy. Moving on, can we move on? Start talking. I'm just called be quiet. Uh, this weekend I realised how, um, how much effort it takes and how exhausting it is. Wait, no, pretending. before you do that, you were going to say about how much you want to meet someone. I was going to get to that after I changed my mind. I'm sorry. Yeah. I need tape. <laughs> just to tape my mouth closed. I'm just going <laughs> to... Um, it is incredibly exhausting and takes a lot of effort to pretend to that, that you can see something that you can't actually see. Um, I, I realised this because there was a PowerPoint and I was kind of like, I have to, I don't want to draw attention to the fact that I can't see this. Like there's no, sometimes you pull out the blind card and you act more blind than you actually are. And sometimes you just, you're yourself. You're like, can't see that. I'm just going to look around me. And then there's other times you're like, I do not want to look blind in front of these people. I want to fit in and be normal. And that was one of the times I was having this weekend. And so I decided that I was going to be able to see this. And uh, you have to think about where you're looking, where your focus is. What, is it funny? Is it interesting? Is it sad? Is it, you know, is there a moving image on it? Are you meant to be following something across the screen? If it's if it's words, so it was like during um, um, singing songs, um, worship. It was you had to try and mouth along the right words, <laughs> make the right shapes with your mouth, and you can take your hand off your mouth now, Chloe. It's fine. You can join in, <laughs> um, and you had to try and guess what line was coming next. Yeah, um, try and think of a word that rhymes. You were like, Jesus, he can move a mountain. What rhymes? Mountain, what rhymes with mountain, what rhymes with mountain, what rhymes with mountain, 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 mountain. That song doesn't even rhyme. I know it mountain. doesn't, but you know, like that's the kind of thing that goes through it. It's the first song I could think yeah. of. Okay. But yeah, um, but yeah it's, it's exhausting. <laughs> and then whenever you're trying to make notes and stuff and you're like, I don't want to look too close at this because I have made a huge effort to get to this point. Yeah. <laughs> I can't knock it all down now. At the same time though, I did that. I like, I, I, during the singing and stuff, I was like, yeah, I can totally read that going fine i mean by the end of it i did have the chorus but then it was one of those like bands that sing the chorus about six times at the end yeah um i mean which enough, nothing, but... is, nothing against but at the same time the wee powerpoint guys up the back were trying their best and they were just constantly having to go back 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 forward forward back back forward forward back back and they were just like they, they were working <laughs> guys. they were working hard um, um but yeah no i came out and we were in like wee groups then i was like you know what i'm just gonna be open and honest and be like yeah i have a visual impairment and it just made everything awkward guys i say i have a visual impairment and then i say doesn't change anything you still make it awkward can't just be normal because i want to be honest with everybody and be like yeah if i look at something closely i'm not I have, it's because i can't see it and you just make it awkward and don't mention it or else don't ask me things and then just completely ignore me and it's just kind of like guys i just didn't mention it at all i didn't say anything about my eyesight yeah well i'm not so, going to in future to be honest because that was just horrendous I, kind of, I had decided like if it comes up or if they ask me to read something i would say look i can't see that well sorry like but i didn't want to draw attention to it at the time so I just and I, th I think I'll do that in future because like I sort of decided like oh yeah I'll just be I'll just come straight out with it and see how that goes because it used like I always used to do the way Judith does it which is the way I normally do it um which I just said um I'm beating myself but um yeah I just sort of decided to see if it was anything any different and it wasn't and that was slightly disappointing because in reality it should just be a case of being like, sup, visual impairment, and people should be like, cool, let's continue now as I if nothing in... ever happened. Yeah, cool, you have a visual impairment. I live in Lurgan. <laughs> I mean, to be honest, I'd be a bit offended. Just like, excuse me, are you saying living in Lurgan is as bad as having a visual impairment? I mean, have you been to Lurgan? I, I have not, but I've heard a lot of stories. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> no offense to people in Lurgan. Yeah, it's no, just it's... stories. Please tell us otherwise at skit under slash twins. <laughs> really plugging it now. <laughs> if anyone knows Paul Clark, can you tell him I want to meet him? Thanks. Paul Clark is such a lad. I want to meet him as well, also too. Paul Clark, if you're out there, next time I'm, I'm in Belfast, can I just tweet you and we can meet up? I don't drink I coffee. I want to go to um, the UTV. I've done BBC studios now. I have to go to uh, ITV. UT UTV. UTV, sorry. Um, but I also, I want to meet Barra and then I want to meet Frank and then see who's nicer. Yeah. <laughs> see who gives the best handshake. <laughs> I'll be like, where do you get your ties? And then 
Like, I'll be like, hello, Barbus. I like your ties. Where do you get your ties? Thank you very much. Nice to meet you. Goodbye. And then I'll say the same thing to Frank and then I will be... That's me. I just want to meet Paul Clark and be like, hey, Paul Clark. And then I hope he says, like, it's all from... No, I don't want him to sign off like he does the news and every saying goodbye because that would be a bit weird. But also at the same time, I'd quite like to have like an answering machine. <laughs> 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 Hello, you've reached Chloe's more. <laughs> Unfortunately, she's not here at the moment, but please leave a message. That's it. <laughs> I would like um Frank to say take care, be good, bye bye. Um, just so that I can have a voice recording of that whenever I'm like done with people. <laughs> like talking to me I can just bring out my phone and just play that in their face and then go bye <laughs> and then walk away um I'd quite like that to be a thing uh do you have anything else on your list Cause... I do I still have lots of things um yeah I have like Easter's coming up and you already said that though I know but like that means we have to have days off from the gym and I don't know though because last year um or like a couple of years ago it was good Friday and uh apparently we were still at the gym I think maybe it just closes early on Good Friday, maybe. maybe. But uh, if it's closed, I don't know what I'll do. We'll like, have to I'll... run outside. We got running gloves. I haven't yeah. used mine yet. We I used use mine, those. but it was because it was snowing, not necessarily <laughs> that I was running. Yeah. Um, Fun fact, though, running gloves make excellent insulating gloves. You put them on first, and then you put on like a couple of pairs of normal gloves. I just watched Fantastic. some dust fall off your I head. watched the dust too. No, it came from the, <laughs> came the light shade, you know. Oh. But uh, yeah, running gloves are good. Um, Also... I don't know if lately you've noticed, but our videos have got like a bit shorter, but that's just because... Judith, look at me. Look down. Engage yourself, please. Sorry, <laughs> I was waiting for more dust to fall off the light. Um, but yeah, like videos have been getting shorter, and that's just because we're kind of struggling with ideas. Yeah. Um. So if you could give us wee ideas for wee short sketches. And time. We've been yeah. very busy lately. Yeah. <laughs> but um, hopefully we're going to get a, a, a few more back-offs done, so... Uh, who do you want to see in Beck Off? Please yeah. tweet us at skit under slash twins. You can see Olga and Bernadette. Or Freya and Liza? I can't even remember. Or uh, Hilary and Wendy. Um, Wendy. <laughs> or um, Philomena and Bridget. Bridget. Or Melanie and Suzanne. Mm. Or oh, Mel and Sue. <laughs> or somebody new. I could maybe introduce a new character. Um, I don't know what other accents I could do, but I mean. We could really offend the Welsh and try and do Welsh one. I mean, we've offended the Irish. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we've offended the Irish, the, the English. The Scots, the Americans. Oh, Melsa and Susa. Oh, yeah, from them. Australia. We could do a little uh, French one. <laughs> I could be called uh, Laura. I could be Melanie. <laughs> and Susa. <laughs> Susa. We um, could be uh, Le... Le Bake Off. <laughs> Le Bake Off. So original, so French. We could make a Le Bakes. <laughs> Avec le garlic. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry, French people. Yeah, so we could do that, but uh, yeah, let us know at skit underscore twins. Or email us. Skit.twins at gmail.com. I don't know why I was expecting you to say skit.twins at bbc.co.uk. Goals. Like goals, but also that's a bit weird. <laughs> But yeah, give us ideas of you've seen of what, the future of uh, what you want, what you want us, what you want to see us do next. Yeah, and while we're here, uh, and while you're on Twitter, um, just open Twitter on your phone or your laptop. Uh, now I'll give you a wee second. Hey Siri, open Twitter. Okay, right. Uh, compose a tweet and tag every BBC, ITV, podcast, YouTube, whatever person that you can think of, and send them a link to this podcast and tell them to hire us and give us a job please and thank you thank you send tweet thank you siri does alexa send tweets does siri get thanked enough thank you siri thank you siri thank you alexa thanks alexa thanks google alexa set at oh wait no as soon as you say alexa she's gone <laughs> <laughs> oh and we're back hey alexa <laughs> Oh, it's not going to work this time either, is it? Because she goes off when yeah. I... Hey, uh, Siri. Oh, it's not going to work either because it still goes off. This is not good. Um, you can just... We can just annoy them by pausing. Anyway. I'm sorry if we made your thing pause. Please don't hate us forever. I love you. Not you. I love Siri. Do I love Siri? I don't think I love Siri. Siri? 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 Um, um, 
Will we do the Google game? Yeah. I was going to talk about acting, but we can come back to that. Okay, yeah, we'll take a wee break. Um, so the first one is how long, and uh, you know the way it keeps your recent searches? Yeah. Um, <laughs> how long to fly from Belfast to Italy? <laughs> um, but anyway, yeah, how long? How long is a day on Mars? Um, no. Oh, no. How long um, is an Earth day? No, but you're kind of, no, you're not, you're not close at all. How long is a moon day? No, there's nothing about other planets, it's all very much Earth and people based. How long has Donald Trump been president? No. Think about cooking. Like, what long... kind of things do you need to time really well? How long well? does a pizza take to make? No, but you're along the right lines, I mean food, but... How long does bread? No. Like, something that people do all the time. Like, classic uni student doesn't know how to... Oh, how long to cook pasta? No. How long to cook eggs? Yeah, how long to boil an egg. And how long does it take to boil an egg or to do them? But it depends on how you like your egg. Yeah. Um, there's another cooking one as well. Uh, how long... How long after the best before no. date can I... There's another cooking one. Okay. How long do I cook chicken for? Yeah, how long does it take to cook a chicken? I said that there was no wider space ones, but there is. But it's how long. How long does it take to get to the moon? Yeah! <gasps> Yay! <laughs> That's the exact word in two. How long does it take to get to the moon? Probably like know. a day. Maybe longer than a day. I, I think it's something day. like if you were able to drive. Like, Every, yeah, it's like, it's like, it's like 90 six minutes or something. Oh, wait, no, maybe it's like 90 minutes to get out of the atmosphere. I know it's not that long because the atmosphere isn't that lot isn't that high. Anyway, um, I don't think it's I think it's higher than six miles, guys. Don't freak out. Because <laughs> you fly at like twenty six thousand feet. Which now is... you think of me. Um, how long? How long do humans live? No. How, how long, long does me? hair grow? Like right now. <laughs> how long does a cold last? Yep. And how long does a flu last? But that's pretty similar. And then the last one is um, it's about a really long. Uh, I don't want to say monument. What's it? What's it called? Um, statue. Not statue. Building. Road. Uh, yeah, we'll go with road. <laughs> How long is Route sixty six? No. How long is the Royal Mile? It's not a road. Um, <laughs> 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 no, because you're just going the completely wrong way now. Whenever I said road, um, but How it's long a, is... it's a thing, but you can walk on it. How um, long is the Great Wall of China? Yes. Do you want to do another one or? Yeah, are that you was. Done? I, I actually managed to do that. Help. Help I Sexed My Boss is a fantastic podcast. Everybody should listen to it. Although me and Judith have to call it Jane Davis because it's we get awkward. awkward in the gym. Um, but it's funny though because we don't actually notice the awkward stares. We just kind of feel them. Yeah. <laughs> what are you talking about? But uh, Help My Kitchen's On Fire. There's none that are that long. Help I'm Pregnant. There's a Help I'm. Help I'm... Ah. Uh, I hope I'm a lesbian. <laughs> no, <laughs> it's completely random. It's a film. It's a film title, apparently. Help! I'm lost. No. Help! I'm... Oh, help! I am. Um... Oh no! No, never mind. <laughs> help! I don't know where I am. No. Help! I've been abducted by aliens. No, I told you they're not. There's like three words. Help! Four words is the longest one, but that's a movie title. Um. Help! Is it like help? I'm. Well, there's help. I'm a. Uh... It's the film title. Oh, okay. The rest of them are Help Something or Help... Help Earth. No. How is Help Earth not... Is that a made-up one? It's a made-up one, yeah, from a book. Uh, um, help me. Help you. Help, help me. Others. Help me what? Help me help you? No. <laughs> <laughs> are you listening to a word I said? They're all three. Like, three That's four. <laughs> help me Google is one. And I don't know... Or help help me Google or help me Google. I'm not sure which one it is. Help me email. No. Help yourself. No. Help Google is one. Oh, I just get sorry. <laughs> <laughs> help. Um, we have one of these in a bank. Help Isa. Help current account. Help to buy Isa. Yep. Yep. We have one of those. That's four words. And then there's an. But yeah, yeah, but um, is that the film? <laughs> no, <laughs> no, the film is Help I'm a Alien, no, Dragon, no, Fish, yeah, Help I'm a Fish. Help I'm a Fish. I've never heard of that. Uh, you got help to buy, I say, you also got help to buy, I suppose. 
Um, the last one is also bank related. Um, You're rocking the bed quite a lot. Sorry. It's not even that it'll affect the sound. It's just the phone's slowly moving towards okay, the edge right, of the seat. Anyway, right. Help. And then think banking. Help. To. Fraud. <laughs> no. Steal. No. No. What's the opposite of steal? Give back. <laughs> <laughs> what do you want the bank to do with the money? Keep it. <laughs> yeah, but you call it a mm, account. Current account. No. Saving. Saving. Oh, so help to save. Help to save. Hey. Get Jesus. That's how you get <laughs> saved. <laughs> um. So yeah, you wanted to talk a wee bit about acting, though. Yeah, just that in London we were doing a thing for acting, and uh, we had to do monologues and stuff, and it was really enjoyable. Um. Was really proud of how mine turned out. Really proud of how everybody's turned out. Really, um, they were fantastic. Well done, guys. Top job. Woo, go extant pathways. Um, Judith, I really liked yours. I think just because, like, in the rehearsals, Judith was like a stand-up comedy piece, and in rehearsals, everybody had heard the same jokes over and over again. So like, it, it wasn't really funny anymore. Mm-hmm. But whenever we were doing it in front of the audience, they all like cracked up, and it was just brilliant to like hear that and oh thank so you so good uh chloe did one from doctor who and let me tell you emotional um that was my goal i wanted people to feel things uh like the room was completely silent like you couldn't hear breathing you could have heard someone fart <laughs> god i didn't fart to be honest i was holding one in <laughs> i wasn't that was a joke because like, farts are funny if you I, if you're listening to this and you're not laughing at farts right you need to just stop because all our podcasts have some sort of toilet based humor on it okay so i'm sorry but just this isn't for you switch off now it's been nice i mean if you want to persevere it's maybe only five minutes per podcast but i mean just Five Re- minutes of fart talks, she means. Yeah, like, just reevaluate your life. Be a wee bit immature. Go down a slide and then come back and listen. All right. Anyway, sorry, done. Um, do you want to say anything else about London acting? Um, no, I was going to say, do you want to do questions? Or? I was going to say we're also in the last episode of Dairy Girls. Oh, yeah. Uh, we Keep an eye out, get screenshots, send them to us. Skit Thanks. under slash twins. <laughs> On Twitter. And on, Twitter. on Instagram. Instagram. I have lots of questions. So I have you go on two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight. I got a total of eight questions from Instagram. I got four from Twitter. Okay, um, so, uh, well, there's there's eight, there's nine, but I put it into eight because one, like, two of them are more or less the same. Okay. So, uh, okay. if you were on death row, what you, what would your last meal be? Ice cream or and jelly. if you could only have one meal forever? Ice cream and jelly. Yeah. Uh, I would go with cereal, but I don't think, I, I can't be specific enough and say what kind of cereal. Um, so yeah, I'd probably just go with ice cream and jelly. Or like, salted caramel Cocoa Halo Pops. Top. Oh, it's so good. We tried that. Try it, guys. It's unreal. Um, one came from our brother, which is if Britain's exit is called Brexit. Although technically it should be UK exit, because Northern Ireland's part of this too. And we're part of the UK and not Britain. Anyway, guys. Right. Did, oh, I feel so... I feel affronted that we brought Brexit into this. But continue, because it's a good question. But um, does a, is a fire exit called a fexit? I vote yes. I vote yes too, so um, from now on guys, it's a fix it. Um, it's not a fire exit, it's a fix it. That's what we're okay, going to call so this on podcast. on a plane, I want all air stewards to be like, the, the fix it are here, here, here and here. here. <laughs> <laughs> in, in case of a fire, the fix are on this side of the room and on this side of the room. <laughs> we definitely need to do that if we're ever hosting an event again. r and get us in again. Uh, um, but we won't pay this time. This is one of the ones that um, I was kind of like, you do realise this isn't anonymous, but it was, um, I've, I've written it down word for word. I know you're blind. <laughs> Good start. But if you were born deaf, what language would you think in? Oh. That one was like, yeah. But then you, you can't answer it. And some of these questions, I mean, it just doesn't have an answer. Yeah, like the wee voice in your head. Yeah. I suppose maybe it would sort of be at the... <laughs> Oh, this sounds awful, but you know whenever you're watching subtitled um, you spy TV again. shows? Yes, you're watching subtitled TV shows. And it's sort of like the screen sort of gets a wee bit smaller and the wee subtitle man's just at the side. Is that what thoughts are? Is that what thoughts are like? They're just like in front of you. Or else I was going to say, if, I was gonna say, if a deaf person is listening, please let us know. <laughs> 
Seriously though, if you know a deaf person, can you please let like ask I, them? I don't know how to How would you ask them? Um like do they think in sign language? Or do they have a wee a voice a voice in their head saying things? This is something I never thought of. I don't think I've ever yeah. met a deaf person. That's a really interesting question. Right, okay, the next two I, I genuinely had to look up. One of them you'll know that um you'll know I looked up because I tweeted the answer, um, just as a random tweet, but uh how do birds pee? Birds don't pee. I knew that. They don't I knew have that. a pee hole. <laughs> I knew that. I can't remember. That's why their poo's so like gloopy. Gloopy. <laughs> I knew that, but I don't know how I knew that. I just knew that birds don't pee. They just poop. Um, do fish get thirsty? Do fish, fish drink? They don't drink, but they need to absorb water through their entire body. So yeah. they don't feel thirsty, but they do need water. Well, yeah, because otherwise they... Suffocate. I know, but like they need to absorb water. Okay. That's um, interesting. <laughs> my, kitchen is, my kitchen is on fire. What do I do? I'm sorry, but your kitchen is probably ruined at this stage. <laughs> I hope that you phoned the fire brigade. <laughs> if it's if an it's electrical a... fire, don't put water on it. If it's any other kind of fire, throw water on it and just hope for the best. Well, it's an electrical fire, isn't it? You throw a damp tea towel on it. I don't know if if it was any kind of suffocate it. If it was any kind of big fire in my house, should I be out the door? I just I wouldn't even think. It just would be like, nope, <laughs> bye, <laughs> no my problem. Um, another one is what can you see? I was just kind of oh. like, what can you see? Because I've, asked, I mean, I people, we I've can... asked people that before and people like try describing it. It's just kind of like, yeah, but you ask me this and you expect me to be able to describe it in great detail and you're struggling. So um, tell us at skit underscore twins, what can you see? And then we'll answer it in the next episode if anyone can answer it to a decent, like a decent, a decent, a decent amount to a decent quality. Yeah. You can do a couple of yours and then I'll finish with a couple of mine. Um, one that you already answered was from Les, and it was, I have a question, the lads in Sam 170 went down to, to sea in ships, and their business, <laughs> okay, right, the lads in Sam 170 who went down to sea in ships, and did their business in great waters, how long was it before they got connected to the main sewer systems, and could do their business in the comfort of an outdoor toilet? So that's basically just making a wee joke of Psalm 107. Well, it's actually the end of Psalm 107. I was going to look up what Psalm 107 is. It's near the bottom. I had to look it up. Um, but, uh... Good biblical knowledge there. <laughs> yeah, good biblical knowledge, Les. Um, yeah, uh, it's... Read up, Psalm 107, get some Bible in your day. Um, it's not actually one of the best Psalms, to be honest. Um, it's, like very, it's like right at the very bottom. They sowed their faiths. It's after. I think it's maybe before that. The upright see and rejoice. Um. Anyway, um, yeah, it was just making fun of business being like a toilet instead of actual like money exchanging hands. Yeah. Be able to answer it. Um, when hold on, when was the toilet invented? Right. Oh, probably well after biblical times. Was it Thomas Crapper that invented the toilet? I Am I making that up? I think so. Because I, I definitely heard something like that. When on, was the toilet invented? On Blue Peter. And then I mentioned it in primary school and the librarian in primary school told me I was talking poo. Only like... The first yeah. modern flushable toilet was invented in 1596 by Sir John Harrington. Oh, that's why it's called the John, is it? Yeah. What about the flushing toilet? Was that by Thomas Crapper? The first mod modern flushable toilet. Oh, okay. I'm going to search Thomas Crapper. I, sp I think it's spelt with a K. Uh, no, it's spelled with a C. Thomas Cracker was an English plumber who founded Thomas Crapper and Co. in London. A uh, sanitary equipment company, Crapper held nine, nine patents, three of them for water closet improvements such as floating ballcock. <laughs> improved them. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> he improved the S Pen trap in 1880, inventing the plumbing trap. So basically, it's so basically your boy John made like the toilet, but Thomas Crapper made it like way more sanitary. Yeah. So, John and Crapper, um, <laughs> solid I'm, guys. I'm okay. <laughs> um, so yeah, in, in answer to your question, Les, quite 15, a while. Fifteen hundred, yeah. About fifteen hundred years. Um, Alan, uh, what's your standard daily or weekly fitness regime? He has a couple of questions here. Um, well, well, we'll go with that one first. Daily, it's generally run a couple of kilometres, cycle a couple of kilometres, 
go up a couple of flights of stairs. A couple hundred flights of stairs, let's be honest. Um, and then some weights. But also... Um, karate and rowing. I was going to say include a 20-minute uphill walk to the bus and then a 20-minute flat-ish Ish. walk to the gym and then... Reverse that. Do the gym and then reverse it, yeah. Um, um, also karate and sort of flexibility stuff and swimming and karate... So we spend about, I'd say, about two and a half, three hours at the gym. Yeah. Um, and then plus another hour getting there, an hour getting back, yeah. an hour and a half maybe. Um, by the time, well, like 20 minutes walking up to the bus, I'd say about 20 minutes walking across yeah. to the gym. Basically, then, we leave the house at about quarter to 11 and we're not home until about... Six o'clock. Yeah, just after six. Um but yeah, uh, tea, coffee or hot chocolate. I don't like any Neither. of those, but if I had to pick, I would pick hot chocolate. I would pick coffee just because, well, I would pick like an espresso if I could pick because an espresso is just like a shot. Anything else, if you ask for like a shot of hot chocolate, you just get stared at. Whereas an espresso, you can... But you could have hot chocolate with a shot of coffee in it or whatever. No, no, but I mean like an espresso, you could just sort of, you could be chatting and be like, are you not drinking your coffee? And then you'd be like, oh yeah, and then just down it in one. Yeah. And that will be it over. See, I think I could sip hot chocolate slowly. Oh, um, true. If you couldn't celebrate Easter, I love this question. If you couldn't celebrate Easter, would you rather celebrate Norther, Souther, or Wester? <laughs> <laughs> I would think, I think, I think Souther. I was thinking that too. And then I kind of thought Wester because we're from the northwest of Ireland, so um, yeah. that could be our holiday. Where have you been outside the UK? So we've been to Barcelona, Cyprus. We've basically Canary been to Islands, Europe, <laughs> France, um, the Balearic Islands. It's the Balearic Islands. Mallorca. Is that not the Canary Islands? That's Gran Canaria. Oh. And stuff. Um, and Cyprus, which is like Greece. I said Cyprus. Sorry. I think that's it. Yeah. Well, we've been to Dublin. That's outside the UK. <laughs> <laughs> Um, what about interest, interesting places inside the UK? Edinburgh is class. Yeah, everybody should go to Edinburgh. Um, Alan, everybody should go to Edinburgh. So. Everybody should go to London too. I think, like, not for pure ages. Like, there's there's more to the UK than just London. If you're coming yeah. to the UK, don't just go to London. If you're coming to Northern Ireland, don't just do Belfast. Don't just do more than Belfast. Do the and, whole uh, north north coast if you're going. Yeah, do but it. also don't just do the Giants Causeway or the Dark Edges either. Yeah. Do like Slemish and climb the mountains. Yeah. Do sleeve Donard, if you're fit enough. <laughs> yeah. It's not for the faint-hearted. Especially, well, it depends on the weather. My also, do the to... stairway to heaven. So uh, whatever called. that's called. Yeah. Um. Someone tweeted and just said, "Teach us to be farmers." That would take too long. Uh, get some baler twine and whatever you have to do, just wing it. Yeah, um, use baler twine for everything. If you don't have a hair bobble, use baler twine. If you don't have a, a key, use baler twine. If, if you, you don't, don't have a belt, baler twine. If you don't have shoelaces, baler twine. You don't have toilet roll, use a leaf. <laughs> <laughs> um, and yeah, just sort of don't complain. Just muddle through. If anyone asks you how you are, just say, "Well, you can't complain. You've got your You've health. You've got your health." Uh, also, another thing, if you're a man, if you're sort of like an older man that could be a father, you, uh, you talk about how early you got up, but as soon as you sit down on the sofa, fall asleep. Yep. Oh, um, I was up since six o'clock this morning. And um, yeah, I think that's some top tips, yeah. Yeah. Uh, well, I saved my last question. I'm going to save my last question. Okay. And you can... um, I have another quite funny one. Okay. Um, what does it feel like to be blind, Judith? Class. <laughs> That's another one where I was kind of like, can I write your name down? <laughs> Please tell me who these are. I will tell you afterwards. Um, what does it feel like to see? What does it feel like to not be blind? Um, yeah, but that was I, I don't particularly. That's like people ask, what's it like to be a twin? And it's just I've every time that I've been asked that now, I just go, what's it like to not be a twin? They're like, all right, yeah, and then just sort of walk away yeah. embarrassed. And like, like I think, what's it like to be blind would be different. A different question if we hadn't been born blind. Yeah, if your sight had deteriorated yeah. or, or something. Yeah, but at the same time, that's not a question you would ask. Don't ask that to people. Yeah, that's a bit depressing. Yeah, but, I mean, um, if someone who was blind and suddenly got their sight back, go ahead. Um, <laughs> uh, my final question is from Shannon. She wanted a wee shout out. Um, but if we have fingertips but no tip, no toe tips, why do we call it tiptoeing? 
But we do have toe tips, what? But we don't call them toe tips. We call them the tips of your toes. Yeah, but why don't we call them the tips of our fingers? Like why we do can't call we... them the tips of your fingers. I know, but you shorten it to fingertips. Yeah. Why can't we shorten the tips of our toes to toe tips? I think we should. I think it should be national law. <laughs> International law. Global law. That we now call them Universal tips. law that we call them toe tips. <laughs> and that is why we tip too. You heard it first. <laughs> I think mean, it makes sense. It does make sense. I have to admit. Yeah. Do you have um? Do you have a final question? Um, there? The final question is from Susan, um, and it's thanks to her. I think that uh, we got so many questions this time. So, thank whoop, you, Susan. Whoop. Um, and Sarah, your your mother is class. <laughs> In case you didn't know that already, please tell Susan how incredible she is at skit under slash twins, and we will pass the message on. Uh, Mainly the, because Susan, I can't remember your Twitter name. It's at Susan McAllister. But also, don't spam her. She's a lovely lady. Um. Yeah, she asked, what's the most dairy thing that has ever happened to each of you? <laughs> and I thought, that's a really great question. I'm not sure. You should have told me this beforehand so I could think. <laughs> I'm sort of caught between either getting caught up in a bomb scare. <laughs> or getting caught up in a bomb scare in a shopping centre. Yeah. And I just, just being completely just chill being about totally it. chill about it. Just being like, mm, do you want a good reasons then? <laughs> Or just getting shouted at in a really broad dairy accent. I think that's quite um, classic dairy. Maybe wooden spoon. Well, wooden spoon is just kind of a general Irish thing. Like yeah. the whole of Ireland, north and south. Um, most dairy th- I'm trying to think of stuff that's happened in dairy girls. Yeah. Because I would assume that's where this question has come from. Um, probably... Oh, this um, is harder than I thought it would be. Can we get back to it next week and try and sort of... We'll probably forget, though. True. Um, Just... Right, okay, we're going to have five seconds of silence while we think really, really hard. Okay, you ready, Chloe? Go. Yeah. It's okay, it's not silence, the dog's barking. Probably. <laughs> okay, right. Um. I think the most scary thing that happened to me is whenever I got shouted at for a man walking into me and dropping his camera. <laughs> And he turned around and he was like, what did you do that for? What were you walking? And I was like, uh, you walked into me. <laughs> okay. Mine is probably just getting asked, do you want a wee bag? <gasps> yes. Oh, no. I think the most dairy thing that I've ever like witnessed is um, just put your wee card in the wee machine there. Do you want a wee bag? The wee bag's only 5p. Just type in your wee number there now and press <laughs> enter. <laughs> I think that's the most dairy sentence that you can hear, like in a shop. I mean, there's obviously more dairy yeah. sentences. Um, probably, probably it didn't happen to us. It happened to our friend, but uh, our friend had some English friends over, and they were like, "Oh, so this is this is this London dairy." And then a dairy guy from behind just went, "There's no London here," and uh, that's a pretty dairy thing. <laughs> yeah. I mean, uh, apart from that, you know, there's like a, uh, you know. <laughs> There's the graffiti, there's, there's say power military stuff, but uh, let's not get into that. I don't want to be a part of that. That's right. Not... Okay. Um, but yeah, thank so, you very much for all your questions. That was fab. Yeah, and uh, thank you very much for listening because we're approaching the hour mark. Really? Yeah. Impressive. Um, so thank you very much for listening. Please do rate the podcast or give it a like. Um, obviously, please, please give it a share. Um, it means quite a lot to us. That like it means more than someone giving me the last bowl of cocoa pops, and that means a lot to me. She loves cocoa pops, like, yeah, yeah. So yeah, um, thanks very much. Um, get in touch. I don't know how many times we said it throughout the podcast, but I'll say it again. Twitter is at skit under slash twins or at twit underscore twin. Twit. <laughs> we I are might. twits, but that's not our Twitter name. <laughs> at skit underscore twins yeah and it's um, the same for our instagram if you want to mention us in your story or yeah just take a screenshot of the podcast and tag us in it and put it as your instagram story and yeah. your location not that like not your precise location that would be weird but, but like, like hey i'm listening in america or, or australia or yeah dublin um <laughs> to go to the city um <laughs> But yeah, let us know, because um, we are interested. Also, send us questions, send us ideas, thoughts. If you do send us video ideas, we will credit, we'll you, credit you, either yeah, in definitely. the description of the video or we'll put a wee, a wee title card at the end yeah. or whatever. Um, and yeah, 
uh, if there's anything that we have mentioned in this podcast, um, tweet us about it. Like, feel free to respond and be like, oh, well, actually, I'm deaf and I think in colours or, you know, whatever. Yeah. <laughs> or actually, I can hear, but I don't, I don't have a voice in my head. Yeah. Like, if, imagine everybody said that. Imagine everybody tweeted us saying, I don't hear a voice in my head. I would feel real creeped like, out. But guys, when you read something in, like, silently, there's a voice in your head that, that reads it. Right? Yeah, because I've seen like memes and stuff on Twitter, and it's like, "Hey, I'm David Tennant. You just started reading this in my voice, didn't oh, you?" Oh, imagine you could just like speak like David Tennant. Sorry, no, let's not go on a tangent. So, uh, yeah, thank you very much. Uh, thank you. Please get in touch, and I will leave you with some inspirational advice. Don't drink bleach. Thank you for that, Chloe. That was. I mean, think about it though. If you're listening to that, going, that was really stupid advice. Like, you're smart enough not to know, to know not to drink bleach. Like, there's somebody out there who needed needed to hear that. If you're that person, get educated. Good luck. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye. Take care. Bye. 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 Bye.